Mm. Ah, that's number five for me today. Timmy is, of course, nothing but the best. Hello, friends. Alton McFall here in uh, Montreal, Quebec, where it's like the end of the day already. Freaking 21st of November 2022. And uh, I don't know if you can sort of see there from my crappy windows. Yeah, it kind of wants to like clear up and it's the end of the day. So what the hell difference does it make, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, on this uh, crappy Monday, weather fitting, uh, I just happened to have finished this here painting for my uh, friend that I've never met. Maybe one day I will meet uh, my friend Ed Beatty out in Savannah, Georgia. There you go. Voila, mon ami. There you go, my friend. Fire Station 40. Another one for the books for me. Well, more like off the books. And uh, I really don't know what painting this is anymore. You know, ever since I started doing this series of almost all these paintings I've done which are 16 by 20 with a couple of exceptions I think they were up to 20 probably by now easily I mean uh, I don't think there was a week where I wasn't working on a painting frankly and I don't have really have anything necessarily lined up right now but I could easily you know do that and say uh, you know I know Nick wants me to do a 67 cougar for him I have other fans uh, say hello to my friends uh, Laura and uh, uh, and Steve, who I met yesterday, they uh, they brought a uh, bunch of stuff for me, especially an Elio's pizza, because it was on the way to see their son. And uh, God love you, Italians. You, you really appreciate art. And I think suffice it to say, art, Italians were probably the most artistically inclined people like there ever walked the planet, it seems. Yeah, and I just noticed a slight little boo-boo with this painting. I don't want to make this a long thing, because I've got a customer coming over there. Well, he seems some... Usually when somebody says they're going to come over in like two, three days, you know, at a certain time, they're pretty serious. Oh, and hence, actually, uh, hence this morning, uh, I got to meet one of my fans. I've been watching my channel for years, and uh, uh, hello, Fred, and thanks again for purchasing my large Peterbilt Wrecker towing the, the, the STM uh, scrap there, the first gen. Uh, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that thing for sale for years. I probably did that painting like eight years ago, which ironically is when he started uh, watching my videos. So thanks again, Fred. Pleasure to meet you. And uh, I'm going to frame a Greyhound bus for, uh, for him. i got to go get a frame for it. And uh, yeah, it's also an honor to to once again do uh, Montreal firefighting, firefighting related painting uh, to an American. Uh, the last one, of course, being that Freelander cab over uh, for someone in the States. And uh, now and now this for another American uh, Fire Station 40. And as you can see, I used the photo here, which looks to me like it was taken, I would say, probably about late 90s. 2000 judging by that Pontiac transport there. That's like a 95 to 97 and uh, There was this photo I used but I also used Another photo here. Give me one second No, that's not the one that's from before There it is. These are from online And you can see the difference between this one the other one while well, this one this is the one that uh, uh, I think Ed took this from the still of the uh, Pumper 240 responding. I got a, like a, a month or two ago, I guess. And, uh, oh man, I just noticed some detail in that roof. I kind of forgot, but eh, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, I'm very happy with this. And, uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, uh, it, it, what was great about this painting is actually it wasn't really difficult to do compared to the last paintings I did of that, you know, Internet Indian motorcycle with Scott's Model T. And then before I did that, that fire, that Pierce uh, fire truck from BC, man, those were major projects. Uh, and the more, you know, the small, tiny details are the more time it takes to do something. It's harder for me to do as well because you're just using your eyes heavily. And uh, so this wasn't too difficult. And oh, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, I wanted to put, uh, it took me a while to figure out what kind of, because you know me, I got to give my own twist. I'm not just going to do a building. I got to do a, a vehicle in there. So I put this as a spare truck, which this is a Thibaut Kenworth. These were made here in Quebec. And uh, I think for for a good decade, probably a good couple of decades, these actually made up for the majority of the, uh, the Montreal uh, uh, fire truck fleet. And, uh, yeah, they all had Detroits in them. And it's funny because I took a few photos of them, but I don't really think I ever actually got one responding. And they were last years of service were 2007, 2008, I think. So, uh, now, of course, I didn't really want to use this picture because it's not a great picture because it's all dark because the sun is really, you can see towards the back. 
But the other one taken, obviously, in the morning, obviously to me, in the morning, this is a really tremendous pick here, even though, again, it's a low res, so, you know, but it was, it's a fun picture. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. The other picture, I don't know if you noticed, they, which was, you know, this picture is like probably 20 years old, but the other picture, they cut that whole tree down. You can see why, <laughs> because they didn't, uh, they probably couldn't see a damn thing out of those windows because of that. And that's really the beauty also of these antiquated buildings made in, you know, whatever, 1900, 1910, 15, 20, 30s, is it seems up until the 30s, even 40s, they had these, you know, these half moon windows. They're just so beautiful. And I think they're just very also iconic to fire, many fire stations made at that time. Uh, but also uh, even uh, just generally very old industrial buildings, you know, so... So yeah, that's another one there, and uh, I'm going to see if I can ship that off later. I got a customer coming over. That's another reason why I wanted to uh, make this, uh, you know, kind of short and sweet. And uh, it's funny because those clouds started off as just three clouds. I figure, oh, I'll put three clouds. You got your three windows, three of these, you know, thingamabobs. But actually, <laughs> yeah, it turned out a little bit more. They're kind of like uh, instability in the air kind of thing. So if you're interested in having uh, your, uh, your, you know, a vintage vehicle of your choice or an antiquated building with a vehicle, I guess is my catch. Uh, you can uh, email me at eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Elton, like Elton John McFall, M-C-F-A-L-L -L, at hotmail.com. Yes, I'm still hotmail. I'm old school. I might actually not have that email in the, just in case I forget to actually type it, you know, as a layer on the video. And uh, prices start at uh, 200 bucks. And in shipping in Canada, the U.S. is 30, but obviously in the, in the overseas, probably more than that. And uh, there's obvious places I'm not going to ship to. I don't want to mention now, but uh, so that's it. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care. And I'm going to chill out here until Mr. Customer comes by here. He seems to be a Mopar fanatic. Mm. And uh, if you don't know what Mopar means, it's a, a uh, lovingly referred term to any Chrysler made products, specifically the old and vintage ones. So. All right, did I forget anything? Uh, no, I think that's about it. Painted in acrylic, took me about a week to do. Um, yeah, that is all. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.